Romanian food. I didn't know what to expect. There were so many options. I got recommended to try Mama Liga Kusamale. I'm enjoying it. After food, we passed by this monastery in the center of the town. Unfortunately, we didn't get to spend very long. So today I'm going back again um, to spend more time with the saints. I have no Wi-Fi, I have no data. I'm definitely going on an adventure. I hope I can find my way there. I hope I can find my way back. <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see. Looking forward to sharing with you guys this beautiful monastery in Bucharest. Join me, let's go. This road that I'm on right now, I kind of recognize it from the map because I looked at the map before I left the hostel, hoping that it would kind of help me to get some kind of idea um, that I'm going in the right direction. And I think I am because this road, I don't know, it kind of looks a little familiar to what I see on the map. Hopefully I am indeed going in the right direction. You know, when you think about Romania, um, especially before I was Orthodox, um, when you think about Romania, you think, oh yes, Romania is dangerous. Uh, Romania, there's, there's a lot of issues. It's not really the best place to travel to. But I, I don't find that so at all. Like, I feel very safe here, thank God. Um, and you know, people should, people should absolutely come here. I think it's a great place to visit. Uh, the people are warm and friendly and ooh, look at those flock of birds <laughs> um, and of course you know the orthodoxy is just so prominent there's something special about it because of that I guess you know I think that's what that's what really makes uh, Romania Romania the, the the orthodoxy and right now I'm going to see Saint Nectarius so if you're ever in Bucharest or are planning to come to Bucharest, you need to come and check out St. Nectarius and say a prayer for me. I need it. I'm totally worried that I'm walking in the, right, the wrong direction right now. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm walking in the right direction. <laughs> okay, so right now I have many options. I can either cross the road, go over there, or I can I can go down this road here. I'm not positive exactly where it is. Um, I think I'm gonna make a left. I'm gonna I'm gonna go down here, and hopefully it's there. I hope. So I'm gonna be walking down this. Ooh! I think I found it. I think I found it. Thank God. Okay, so I think I found the, the monastery. Thank God, I just need to remember how to get back. Hopefully it's not a big deal. Welcome to Radu Voda, ladies and gentlemen. Dating to the mid 16th century, is dedicated to the Holy Hierarch Nactarius of Aegina and to the Holy Trinity. Gorgeous. I made it to the monastery without data without wi-fi which i'm kind of a little bit surprised about glory to god i'm so happy to be here i'm about to to go in and and venerate the saint and, and pray to pray to god to pray for my friends pray for my family pray for you guys anybody watching this video come to bucharest and experience this for yourself it's stunning Doing a little 
exploration before I go into the chapel. So I just came out of this beautiful archway. Look at this archway right here. Gorgeous. Came down these stairs and I'm going to this building over here. I don't know what it is. I don't know if I can even go inside, but I'm here just exploring a little bit. Okay, so I'm at the door of the building. I, I don't get the impression that I'm, I can go in. This may be the residence of uh, the monks. I'm not sure if that's what's happening here, but it doesn't look very <laughs> like I should be going in. So I'm gonna go down this path instead of right here. Let's see where this path is. By the way, right, this, this, this place is so peaceful, so peaceful, so tranquil. Hello. So I just passed uh, a room. And when I passed it, the smell of incense came out. So I have to assume that that's what they're doing in there. They're making some, some incense. I don't know, people who live in Orthodox countries, you guys are so lucky. You're so lucky to have this in your backyard. I know there are many people around the world who are not um, in Orthodox countries who would be very happy to um, experience this. Embrace what you have, <laughs> enjoy what you have. What I love about this is that everywhere on the property, there are icons. As you walk, you see beauty. Beauty from nature, but also beauty from icons glory to god i am now it seems maybe behind the monastery i see an open door i'm not sure if i should be back here to tell you the truth but i'm exploring so hopefully somebody can correct me if i'm in the wrong place i can check out this door and there's the icons everywhere It's like a conference room or something. And of course, icons are on the wall. <laughs> Glory to God. Okay, more stairs, more stairs. I think I'm gonna stop. I don't think there's anything up here. So I think I need to head back. Let's go. Gonna head back to where I came from because I think I am in the wrong location on the, the monastery grounds. It looks like this is kind of behind the scenes, which um, I don't need to be at. Um, I'm not here doing many of the regular touristy stuff. <laughs> I'm coming here to be a part of the Orthodox community. I'm coming here to enjoy Orthodoxy um, in a way that we can't experience it in Jamaica currently. Um, so I'm here at the monastery. Uh, I think this is the only monastery within the city in Bucharest. Um, so, which is really cool, you know, to have a monastery in the city as opposed to, you know, normally it's a little bit outside of the city. Like yesterday, I went to a monastery um, that was a little bit on the outskirts and beautiful, beautiful, wonderful. Um, but it's really cool to have a monastery within the city as well. This is not very far from where I'm staying. Uh, it's, it's pretty close actually, which is kind of surprising. Um, well, I'm thankful for that. It was maybe like 15 minutes walk or, or even less. So, Really and truly, you know, you can come here every morning, every evening um, to pray. I think it's wonderful that it's in the heart of the city. I'm sure it's very convenient for the parishioners and, and for people who just want to come and uh, pray. Okay, climbing the stairs again. 
one thing about Europe, you're gonna walk. If you're gonna come to Europe, you're gonna walk. If you're gonna come to Europe, make sure you bring some good shoes. Don't bring no, <laughs> no pian pian shoes. Wear some shoes that can, can manage the walking, because trust me, heel back easy for bus out. <laughs> I told you that this monastery was in the heart of the city. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. Look around. You see that? Apartments, 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 lots of apartments. So to show you that this monastery is just right in the center of everything, right in the center of town. I don't know. It's just something special about that, something wonderful about that. It provides a, a tranquil environment, a place to pray, a place to meet God. Um, of course, we can meet God in, in our hearts anywhere we are, but there's something special about going to a location, going to a church, going and venerating icons, going to venerate the relics. There's something special about that. And I think people who live in this area are truly blessed. Walking back around to uh, the doors, to go in to venerate the saint. <laughs> I've been delaying it, as you see. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that we are indeed in the heart of the city with apartments right around us. Um, so I'm gonna join the, the long line. <laughs> That's the line behind me. So it's gonna be a little wait to get in. just came out. Wow. As I went out up to venerate the saints, there was actually another relics of another saint in there as well. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which saint, but as I went to venerate the, the relics of the saints, you could feel the grace exuding from them and, and the sweet aroma. I found it so interesting. There's a sweet aroma radiating from the relic. I hope you guys get a chance to come and, and, and venerate the relics here. And then as I came outside, I saw <laughs> Birds, just like the birds are just like flying around in the in the the entrance way to the church. <laughs> you probably hear them little little chirps in the background. It's beautiful here. It's beautiful here. Thank God. The line has got even longer right now. I'm sure this is how it is for most of the day. Um, it makes sense because everyone wants to go and pray. so grateful for, for today and God allowing me to be here because it's God who allows things you know he could have stopped me in many ways but he, he chose to allow me to come I'm so thankful for that so I'm going to be leaving and heading back to the hostel hopefully I can find my way back whether you're religious or not whether you're orthodox or not. Come, come and experience, come experience this joy, this peace that this monastery <laughs> has by the grace of God. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. 
and join me on my journey.